Hi guys, it's Simi Desh. In this video, I'm gonna show you what makeup products I'm gonna bring to Japan because I'm gonna go back to Japan the day after tomorrow. So this is real things I'm gonna bring. Also, there are a lot of my recent discovery, my favorite makeup products, and how I pack for travel. So I hope you like this video. So grab your coffee or something to drink and let's get started. So this is my first makeup bag. When I open it, you can see three sections. So let me show you on the right side. This is my favorite beauty sponge I discovered from Tim recently. It was only 50 cents. But the thing is, quality is, I would say, better than Beauty Blender, which is more than $20. I mean, that's my personal preference, but I like how pointy it is so I can set it strategically. Also, this sponge is very silky. So when I set it, it feels so nice on the skin and so soft and so silky. And 50 cents, I mean, you should get it right now. Like, I'm telling you, this is a really good one. The next one is my favorite highlighter brush from Hakuhodo. If you don't know about Hakuhodo, Hakuhodo is Japanese makeup brush brand which is very luxury and well known as a great quality. So when I apply highlighter with this brush, it looks very natural as if I'm glowing from within, which is important, right? <laughs> so I have dedicated video for Hakuhodo brushes. It has English subtitles. So if you're interested in Hakuhodo brushes, please watch it. And this brush is something I use to set my under eyes. Yes, I use beauty sponge for that, but sometimes when I'm lazy to wet the sponge, I tend to use brush. So I used to use the one from Wayne Ghost, but it was a little bit too small. And then I found the one from Scott Burns. I like the size and shape. But when I found this one, this is more dense and silkier, so it sets better. And surprisingly, this brush was in the brush set I got from Amazon. Wow, this was like less than $13 with tax. And look at the design and quality is just so amazing. I think I've tried decent amount of brushes from cheap brushes to luxury brushes. But I'm telling you, this brush set you will not regret. <laughs> I think you should get it. And this is my blush brush. I got it from Tim. It was only $149. I like how soft the hair is. But the thing is, when I do this, I can hear kind of squeaking. I could reorder and return, but my flight is 30 after tomorrow, so I just decided to bring it. So the next brush is also from Tim. I'm gonna use as a contour brush. It looks like a triangle shape and dense and very soft. So I just wanted to try as my contour. So I'm gonna bring it. And this is pencil makeup remover from Japan. I got it from Japanese Dollar Tree type of place. So we have like 100 in shop, which is much cheaper than Dollar Tree. But anyway, I like how portable it is and how easily I can remove makeup in a small area. So I always bring it with me. And this is the brush for my eyelashes. Also the brush for my eyebrows. And this is a mascara from Kevin Aquan. It is mini size, so great for travel. And it gives you nice lengths on the lashes. So if you don't know about Kevin Aquan, I made a dedicated video explaining who is Kevin Aquan and what kind of makeup products I would recommend from this brand. And surprise, this is my favorite liquid eyeliner from Dollar Tree. So I repeated this product so many times. There are three shades, I try them all brown, brown black, and black. And my favorite shade is brown black. But I would say if you're not used to using a brush type of the liquid eyeliner, maybe this is not for you, but I'm kind of used to using it. So this is really easy to use, easy to remove. So I'm gonna bring it. And this is liquid liner for eyebrows from NYX, the shade blonde. I like to have lighter shade to fill in my eyebrows, so I always choose lightest shade. And I have scissors and tweezers for my eyebrows. And look at how small this pencil is. This is my eyebrow pencil from Japan. I could choose the lid like soft type and hard type. I chose hard one because when I sharpen it, you can make it so pointy, which I like. So I think I should get it more from Japan and a lip liner from Natasha Denona. So I like this natural shade, so I tend to use this one a lot. And this is another lip liner from Amazon. I got it like 
40, 50 shades all together. And this is one of them. <laughs> and it's more like to know what kind of shade you like. I wouldn't recommend to use this brand. It doesn't really last a long time, but I'm gonna leave all links down below so you can kind of take a look. And I have my lip brush, it's dual ended. And I'm gonna bring my Q-tips. And I have this brush from Tim. You can tell from the way it moves, it's really soft. And this is the brush from my favorite brush set. The shape of this brush reminds me of the one from Scott Burns. This was like $25 or something like that. The whole brush set is cheaper than that. <laughs> But I like the shape from the brush set better because it's more pointy. So when I do cut crease type of look, I can draw a line with this brush and blend at the same time. So I really like it. And this is my favorite, favorite Hakuhodo blending brush for eyeshadow. So this is a goat hair and it still feels really nice and you can blend really well and you can deliver shadow really nicely. So I've used different type of the blending brush, but this is always my number one blending brush. And this is my flat brush from Refar, and this is the mixture of the natural hair and synthetic hair. And yes, I'm gonna bring another brush from the brush set I discovered. <laughs> so this is very soft even though this is synthetic hair. Sometimes this kind of short bristle tend to be a little hard, but this is soft. So when I apply some shade on the inner corner or lower lash line, it doesn't hurt my skin, so I like it. And this brush was in the painting section in Japan. So when you go to the painting supplies, you can find lots of brushes. And sometimes you can use it as a makeup brush. And this brush is from Hakuhodo. It is G5534. The hair is gray squirrel. It's so soft. I got this brush a while ago, but when I see the Hakuhodo USA, it seems like they have a small amount of synthetic hair now. So I don't know if this is exactly similar, but mine is 100% gray squirrel, very soft hair. So I'm gonna bring it. On the middle section, I have this palette. This is from Amazon. I got the empty palette and I put Kevin Dacuan Skin Enhancer. Two shades, I put it there. And Natasha Denona, this is I Need Mood Lipsticks, two shades. And I put Vaseline and the different lipstick from Kevin Dacuan. And on top are all Pat McGrath lipsticks. And this is my RCMA Foundations. It is very popular among professional makeup artists. Maybe you get to see people wearing this foundation without knowing on TV or movies. So this foundation is wax based, also having 50% of pigment, which is a lot. When it comes to regular foundation, the range of pigmentation is 8 to 20%. So 50 is so much. That means it is a full coverage foundation. So if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, it doesn't have to be cakey at all. All you have to do is try to find the one which has high pigment in it. So you can apply thin layer, but still you get enough coverage. And I have a spatula for that. It is gold, my favorite color, but I'm gonna bring the only spatula. And this is my new favorite foundation brush from Tim I discovered recently. Also now they're discounted even more. I paid $279 but now it's like $149. Anyways, I have the artist brush right here. This is Oval number 7 I think. And this is great for full coverage foundation. But this one from Tim, it's also dense but the bristle is very soft. It's more like a velvety. So this brush is great for a medium to full coverage, but I would say the cream type of foundation works great with this brush. Also, I've tried with the light coverage foundation, which was Kogendo Aqua Foundation. That is very water-based foundation, but with this brush, it works great. Granted, I use it in the light hand, so this brush is very multi-purpose usage and I liked it a lot, so I have few of them now. And these tiny little ones are sample from RCMA. I wanted to try the shade S1 and S5, which are more like a contour shade. And they're like 4 to $5 each, and how small they are. But like I said, 50% is pigment. So you only need just a little bit. 
Look at this. It's so pigmented. But don't worry, when you apply with your finger, you can share it out. So it looks very natural. And I have eye primer from Natasha Denona. Also the mini brush from Sephora to apply it. And here is my setting powder from RCMA. It is premium version, so it doesn't have talc in it. And that is how actual package looks like. And it is a little bit too big for me to my liking. So this type of container really works for me. When I use this powder, I use this plate all the time. But you can always use tissue or anything. But I just like using this plate. I'm so used to it, so I'm gonna bring it. I love this empty container, so I also use for my sunscreen as well. So if you watch my previous video, I showed you I got the big sunscreen. So that is a little bit too big for me to use daily uses. So I put it in it. And this is my eyelash glue and my favorite lip gloss from Boxum. It's a light beige color. And this is eyelash color from Sephora. It's a long time ago. I don't think they'll sell it anymore, but I still have it. And I have two sharpeners, one for lip liners and one for eyebrows. And I have two samples for face primers, one from Sephora and one from Milk. And both are for pores. And there is outside pocket right here. And I have fake lashes. It's from Japanese dollar store. And then this one is toothpicks. I use it for sharpener in case it gets that. And these are stickers for makeup. So this one is for eyeshadow and that is very interesting. Can you guess what it is? So this is disposable instant your hand palette. And this is kind of cool concept because sometimes when you hurry, you don't really have time to wash and remove them. Like you can wash it but it's still there, it's makeup. You have to really remove them but you don't always have time for that. And this could solve the problem so I wanted to try so I'm gonna bring it. I put all fragile stuff in this bag and the first one is my Vizier Grande Pro 1. So this is different from Grande Pro 1X they currently sell. This is the previous version of that and I use this palette as my face palette because all pigments are safe anywhere on the face. So I use this as my eyeshadow, contour, blushes and they always blend wonderfully so I like it especially when it comes to the trip. This is the great face palette. And if you don't know about the difference, the previous version Grande Pro 1 and current version Grande Pro 1 Next, you'll get more shades with the same price in the Grande Pro 1 Next. So they added more shades, but the pan is a little bit smaller. So I prefer current version much better when it comes to the eyeshadow. But when I use it as my face palette, the previous version allows me to use the regular size of the blush brush or contour brush. So I tend to grab this one. And of course, I'm gonna bring this palette. This palette is called Editorial Bright from Viseart. And once you understand how this palette works, even if you prefer natural makeup, you'll still need this one. I added green shade today's look on top of the soft brown shades. You can always add with your natural brown makeup. Also, you can always adjust the tone by using this palette. Do you have a blue eyeshadow you don't use? And you don't feel like investing in a cool tone palette? Let's grab two taps of this blue. Look at how little is on the brush. Let's cool down this shadow. You can see it already starting to work and we're using the smallest amount. And no, it's not gonna turn it blue. It's just gonna give us a nice, cool tone. Let's add a little bit more. I tapped in one more time. Now let's compare that. This is the shade I started with. Let's tap this on. See how warm that is? Isn't that fun? Makeup is fun. You can use so many ways with this palette. This palette is game changer and I always bring it with me. And this is the palette from Magical Makeup and these are all duochromes and multichrome shades. It's not too shiny but it's beautiful enough. On this trip, I'll be spending a lot of time with my parents so I don't have to be like bling bling beaming shiny so I'm gonna bring this one. This palette is from Tami Tanuka. I think how it calls, I don't know. Let me know how you properly read it. And it's a Russian brand. This palette is so thin and tiny, but I like these shades, so I'm gonna bring it. Also, this quad from Beauty Art. This is something very soft feminine shades, and I decided to bring it. And this is my highlighter from Becca. 
And the reason I chose this one is the size. It's so tiny and the shade is more like a golden yellow type of shade. It's pretty nice so I'm gonna bring it. And I have my NARS small bronzer. I think this is Laguna bronzer. I don't know the color. It doesn't say anything on the package. I got it from Sephora. And I didn't use this bronzer for today's makeup. But if the weather is really nice in Japan, like hot, and then when I wear the no sleep dress, I might want to put on some bronzer. So I'm gonna bring this. By the way, if I wanted to bring some liquid foundation, probably I'll use container or something like that because I can apply directly and it's very easy to carry. So that was my makeup bags for my travel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.